Now, we don't believe that the government should shut down businesses unless they're breaking the law, because that would be censorship. We are exercising our free speech out here by encouraging people to not patronize an organization which gives millions of dollars to promote anti-LGBT hate. We're here today because we're urging our fellow Chicagoans to boycott Chick-fil-A restaurants. This is a corporation which has given over $5 million to promote legal discrimination against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. It is a hateful corporation. We think that one of the great gains of the civil rights movement in the 1960s is that most Americans now recognize that discrimination against a whole class of people, whether it's a racial minority, whether it's women, whether it's a religious minority, or in this case, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people, that discrimination against a whole class of people is hate and is bigotry. We urge all Chicagoans to have nothing to do with it, to boycott Chick-fil-A Corporation. This is a corporation which literally uses your money to promote legal discrimination. And so boycott Chick-fil-A Corporation. Go to the boycottchick.org website to find out more. Uh, but this is about defending civil rights in this century, uh, promoting equality of people, not discrimination and hate. Boycotts have got a rich tradition in American history, whether the Montgomery bus boycott, whether Cesar Chavez's great boycott. We're launching a boycott here today of Chick-fil-A Corporation because once again, injustice has reared its ugly head in the United States, and we urge our fellow Chicagoans to be part of that boycott, to stand up and do the right thing, and don't patronize Chick-fil-A restaurants. Uh, we're here because we're standing with Chick-fil-A. Uh, this corporation and its executive has come under uh, persecution merely because uh, Dan Cathy, the COO of, of Chick-fil-A, uh, came out for, said he believed in the Bible's values, believed in the traditional family. We don't believe a corporation should be banned from a city merely for exercising its free speech, its religious rights, uh, its executive, and standing for marriage. What we're seeing is a rise of intolerance on the gay side. The true intolerant force is the gay side. The true haters are on the gay side. If you can't even say you're for traditional marriage anymore, then that's not the America that I grew up in. We're seeing a rising intolerance uh, epitomized by this Chick-fil-A situation. The good news is their intolerance, the intolerance of the left, has now boomeranged and it's led many people to say, hey, what's going on? Uh, an executive merely says that he stands for traditional family and marriage and he's pilloried and ridiculed and Mayor Rahm Emanuel says that doesn't represent the city's values. So this is the, the overreach by the gay side has now led many people to see the intolerance on the left and we're out here because this particular group, the Gay Liberation Network, is one of the most hateful gay organizations in the world. They explicitly did not condemn an act of hate violence against our group, Americans for Truth. They use all sorts of vitriol to castigate Christians. If you disagree with homosexuality, they call you a bigot, a hater, a homophobe, all these nasty names. We believe there should be a civil debate and if you merely disagree with homosexuality or gay marriage, that doesn't make you a hate, hate monger, it doesn't make you a bigot. The kings of the earth have set themselves and the rulers have taken counsel together against the Lord and his anointed. They say, let us break their bands asunder, let us cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then, then shall he speak to them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. I will declare a decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for your thine possession. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. This the son of the Lord. Thou art my son, this day I have begotten Now, we don't believe that the government should shut down businesses unless they're breaking the law, because that would be censorship. We are exercising our free speech out here by encouraging people to not patronize an organization which gives millions of dollars to promote anti-LGBT hate. Boycotts have 
got a rich tradition in American history of free speech. Starting with the Boston Tea Party and the boycott of British Tea, up through Cesar Chavez's boycott of grapes and grape growers who are committing unjust labor practices against migrant workers, up through the need of the boycott of Florida orange juice and Anita Bryant in the late 1970s. And that latter boycott especially showed how we can push back against anti-gay corporations and individuals. Because it was thanks to the Florida orange juice boycott and the demonstration against Anita Bryant that the anti-LGBT side of that era was pushed back. And that's what we aim to do here with a boycott of Chick-fil-A restaurants. We're out here today in opposition to not, not only the anti-gay position of Chick-fil-A management, but its material support, material support to anti-gay organizations. Some identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center as hate groups. Well, we are asking people to boycott Chick-fil-A, don't support an anti-gay business with your patronage. Spend your money at restaurants that are LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender supportive. Don't spend your money at Chick-fil-A. Speaking of groups identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center as hate groups, there's one here today, Americans for Truth About Homosexuality. And its leader, Peter LaBarbera, right here today, an anti gay hate group, say identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center. We are wondering just how marriage equality delays heterosexual marriage in the first place. I would have thought divorce was a big problem since half of marriages end in divorce. But are these people concerned about that? No, they don't seem to be. They're out here protesting against men and women who choose to marry persons of their own sex. 